Hello, I'm making um, another hexagon cardigan I just started. And the yarn is very lovely. There we are. It's Ferris wheel. Uh, Lion brand Ferris wheel. And I think I got this. Could have been from Amazon. I'm not entirely sure, but it probably is because I get most things from there. Uh, gives you a hook size, needle size, how to wash and all that blarney. But yeah, the colours are really pretty on this. Um, so I just started doing this. Um, just uh, giving my wrist a bit of gentle exercise. Now, there was you just start the way you do with a granny square, the same three double crochet stitch, you know, as you see. And then at the beginning, you do six and you put a two chain space between each of those clusters. I call them pineapples because they look like pineapple chunks from the tin. So it's two chain space between each one. Next row when you've joined and moved up, two chain space between when you've got your two clusters in each corner with a two chain space and you just do that all the way around. And let's see if we can do this a bit better. Yeah, you can see two, two, two. And then moving up two, two in the corner with a two chain space. I don't put any chain spaces between clusters because it can make it unnecessarily floppy. And then just one cluster into that part in between. Uh, two clusters with a two chain space and just keep going around and it becomes evident every time you hit a corner you do a two chain mm -hmm. space to turn and you just keep going around and around and the nice thing is when you fold it you've got to fold the one side over it makes an l shape piece now you can leave it like that and make cardigans for dollies you can put a few more rolls on, make cardigans for little babies or newborns. You can add and add and add and make them big enough for adults. And then when you've got these L-shaped piece together, you stitch down the one side, one piece that side and a second that side. And it turns into like a big T shape. Uh, so my cat's going for a wander. She's blind now. So she's getting in a bit of a muddle. Go down. Good girl. Um, and um, yeah, you can sew two together. So you want to make two at the same time so that they come out equally. And then it just makes a cardigan. See, that would be the front. Two of them is the back. And these are the sleeves. You stitch along there as you go. Leave room for the neck. Uh, it becomes quite apparent. It's very simple. Um, so, yeah, get some, uh, get yourself on the hook and make yourself a pretty cardigan. Very simple. Thank you. See you again.